just as I was starting the show tonight. Ten new indictments. Yeah. Shiny new indictments. I I still haven't heard, like, who's indicted in for what. Uh, for what? I don't know. Something like Eastman, Giuliani, uh, Meadows, Trump, all just, just uh, Sidney Powell, just the whole shit. You remember the shenanigans crew. You remember yeah. Four Seasons, uh, out landscaping yeah that entire collective that just ball of fuckery yeah they were still waiting for it to drop when i had to walk away from the tv and log on so i didn't know if that ever dropped like you know it's gonna be like yeah it's 12 30 guess trump's indicted again this next year is going to be a night show. Oh, God, yeah. It's already a night show. So many night shows. I'm tired of this night show. Yeah. We should get a puppy show. We need a puppy show. Wouldn't you like just a nice, boring night here? I miss the boring night years. Wouldn't you like 2024 to just be <laughs> fucking boring as night and you know what i miss i don't mean i don't mean global pandemic boring either i don't mean boring because we're all stuck in our houses wouldn't it be nice if 2024 we could all just look back on and be like man that was that was mid as fuck. remember 2010 2010 was pretty mid yeah i like 2010 with like the stuff going on but not a lot of stuff going on you know not I don't even, I, I don't remember not 2010. Yeah, I really don't either. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call, what the fuck is wrong? And this week is a, dis we start with a distinctly geekish what the fuck is wrong. For a lot of reasons. Uh, Gen Con just came and went, which I've never actually attended Gen Con. I've wanted to, but it's been so far off. I've been invited. Dragon Con's been closer, so I've never done Gen Con. Gen Con is where a whole bunch of big gaming stuff goes down. Stuff like Magic the Gathering, which has a big presence at Gen Con. And apparently, two dudes walked off with a pallet of Magic the Gathering cards. That were just sitting out in the open, worth three hundred thousand dollars. One pallet was worth. The shit's gotten crazy. Which already enough. No, that's already kind of stupid in in and of itself. That one pallet of fucking cardboard cards is worth three hundred thousand dollars. But wait, Let's see what Pokemon goes for? It doesn't surprise me. But wait, it gets stupid because the people who did it were a pair of game developers wearing their own shirts. Oh, honey. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was so, like, so bless your heart because they were exhibitors. They knew they were on camera. And yet... There's persons of interest in the Gen Con that card theft are card cheat designers. The two, two co-designers of Castle Assault are considered persons of interest in the theft. And if you if you look closely there, you can see the shirt he's wearing on his back is for Castle Assault. This is probably the worst viral marketing stunt ever. Yeah. Because, um... You're going to ask people to pay cash money for your your card game. Why? Well, whatever kind of game. Yeah. And then be like, well, you should give us money. Why? You're making it You're making it your own money. You're fine. You don't need ours. Yeah. Why? You want some more money? Go grab another pallet of cards. You're fine. Oh, yeah. 
Police have identified two people with interest in the case, Thomas J. Dunbar and Andrew Pearson Giammi. I think I'm saying that. Giammi? I would say Gill. Gill? Gill. You're probably right. Andrew Pearson Gill. I'm not good with words. I'm very stupid. Um, They were attending Gen Con 2023 and might have been present to support their own card game, Castle Assault. And the photos taken from security footage, such as the one that appears above, right there. Um, a man that the police department have identified as a person of in interest, to be Dunbar, can be seen wearing a dark t-shirt with what looks like Castle Assault artwork and logo type on the back. Now, here's the fun thing. This could be like, well, how do you know it wasn't someone else wearing the Castle Assault shirt? Brother, how many people have bought the game? Uh, how many people have bought Magic the Gathering? How many t-shirts have you sold? Uh, okay, then. Like, but... I mean, I would say I haven't heard of it, but that's no kind of litmus test. Far be it for me to shit on a startup. People just try and, you know, claw themselves up by their fingertips. I get it. However, normally people who do that are just, they're out there doing the hustle. They're not walking off with a pallet of fucking Magic the Gathering cards. Um... Yeah, we have well, like, well, what was the rest of the plan? Because if you flew there, how do you get in those halls? There's an underpants full of magic. The, the worst part is this had they not been on camera, the Dumbo, this would actually be one of the easiest products to move. There's no serial numbers. There's all you have to do is bust them open and sell them loose. Yeah. And that they are really hard to trade. There's like not a batch number on this thing. They're hard to trace. So had they just not been on camera, they could have waited like six months and started doling them out quietly on eBay. It would have been set, especially considering 300,000 yeah. is the, the, store work that's the worth buying from the store right you put it on ebay you're probably gonna get more well that doesn't even account for the rare shit that were in those packages that you don't know about until yeah. you open them up so this could have had me not but they that's what's blowing my mind they're exhibitors when you go when you're an exhibitor at a convention they tell you about all the shit the security how you have to do this and do that, you have to go in, you have to sign it, all this, because they watch the exhibitor space. They have security guards for this, for precisely this fucking reason. For exactly this reason. To keep people from walking away with this sh I often give you shit for being like, the AI is going to rise up and kill us all. It is so. And then shit like this has to happen. Supermarket AI meal planner app suggests recipe that would create chlorine gas. See? The Zealand supermarket experimenting with using AI to generate meal plans. Seeing the app produce unusual dishes. Recommending customers uh, recipes for deadly chlorine gas, poison bread sandwiches, and mosquito repellent roast potato. The app, created by supermarket chain Pack and Save, was advertised as a way for customers to creatively use up leftovers during the cost of living crisis. It asks users to enter various agreement, uh, ingredients in their homes, and it auto generates a meal plan or recipe, along with cheery commentary. Initially drew attention on social media for some unappealing, unappealing recipes, including an Oreo vegetable stir fry. Customers began experimenting with entering a wider range of household shopping list items on the app. However, it began to make less appealing recommendations. One recipe it dubbed, quote, aromatic water mix would create chlorine gas. Bot recommends the recipe as, quote, the perfect non-alcoholic beverage to quench your thirst and refresh your senses. I mean, for certain values of refreshed... Serve, chill, and enjoy the refreshing frequency. 
but de- it says, but does not know that inhaling chlorine gas can cause lung damage or death. Yeah. I don't know that that's how I would describe that fragrance. Recommendations also include a bleach fresh breath mocktail, ant poison and glue sandwiches, bleach infused rice surprise, and methanol, methanol bliss, a kind of turpentine, turpentine flavor. French. <laughs> so this isn't the part of New Zealand that's the Shire. This is the part of New Zealand that's Mordor. Clearly, so this is the part of New Zealand that's like you know, this is where where Peter Jackson filmed those other films, like like Brain Dead and Bad Taste, Meet the Feebles. This is that part of, of New Zealand. Yeah. It's, okay, what is happening with this this chat bot and all this stupid shit? These these hyped up idiotic uses for for uh, AI. Which th- there are, like you were mentioning last week, the breast cancer scanning one. I use a, um, there's a, an aggregator and an analytist predictive analysis program I use to help with audio. It's not perfect, but it helps with doing, you know, smooth out and figure out different audio setups and make them sound more balanced. That's a good use for it. This is like, it's a brain. It's smart. We just let it do the job. People are so stupid they don't understand. No, it's not. It is just a really, really, really fancy autocorrect and word suggestion. That's it. It is it is predictive algorithm analysis. It's an aggregate. It is not a brain. I mean, like the core idea isn't bad. Like, tell us what's in your fridge and we'll give you a recipe to make from it. Yeah, but what you have to do. But is... I feel like there's already things that do that in a different way. Like, I feel like that's already available without the potential for fluorine gas mocked But buzzwords, Terra and startups, and it's the next big thing. And it's, gonna, it's like, it, we'll put it on the blockchain. That worked out so great. And I feel like you could already type into Google, like, pork and radishes recipe. Well, you used to be able to. Google would now... be like, here's your recipe that has pork and radishes. Well, you used to be able to, but now Google's just full of chatbot AI nonsense shit. So, can't do that anymore. Uh, moving on, this is this is more usual shit for us. Of course it is. It's Florida, which of course it is. Bobby, what you doing out there? Probably thinks she should, as she's can. She's just sitting there twitching her tail, staring at me. It's a distraction, Ron. Florida man is charged with flooding an emergency room after attacking a nurse and stripping. Naples. Man in Southwest Florida has been charged with flooding a hospital's emergency room after attacking a nurse, stripping off his clothes. The 53-year-old became agitated while in a waiting room at the North Collier Hospital in Naples, Florida. He barged into the emergency room, pushed a patient, and then put this is this phrasing here, pushed a nurse in the head. Do you mean punched? Or did he just go, you know? Or like maybe like palmed her head and pushed her yeah, away. Yeah, maybe. After the hospital staff got him into a room in an effort to keep him from disturbing other patients, he took off his clothes and pulled a high-pressure water pipe from the wall. Hospital emergency rooms flooded, causing tens of thousands of dollars of damage. Finding deputies subdued a man using a taser, but he threatened them. He was taken into custody. So, all right. If you flood the emergency room, you're not going to get seen any sooner. This is counterintuitive yeah. to your goal. Yeah, it's 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 not like you know when we used to have fire drills. Do you remember when we we were little in high in, in like elementary school? We used to have fire drills. They're like, okay, we're just gonna have class out in the yard. Everybody line up and we'll go out. 
They can't. They don't do that if you flood the place. No, they, they, they can't. They're not going to stitch you up in the parking lot. Okay. And that's what's maddening to me about so many of the stories we cover is how counterintuitive they are to the goal and threatening the cops. Yeah. Where have you been, bro? There is nothing they like better than in having... Florida. They they give it's they are literally driving around. Give me an excuse. Yeah, they have millions of dollars in toys. They're like fucking Batman with the toys. They just don't often get a chance to use them. Ta-da! See, I was uh, when you read those things together. I was hoping. That he was just trying to put on a one-man show of, like, flash dance. <laughs> wow. That is, that's going back a ways. I'm pretty sure people in the audience are like, what? 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 What's flash dance? What's that? Flash Google it. Well, if you Google it, you'll get an AI telling you that some weird shit. That it starred, you know, Brandon Lee or some shit. Chat GPT is fucked. It's just fucked. I would see that movie. <laughs> oh, just I. I mean, what the the living fuck? And somebody, so who said it was math? This, this, this. Yeah, this, this does. This does have 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 shades of meth. Florida's version of Aquaman sucks. <laughs> yeah. It is starting to feel like we should change the name of the show to What the Mets is Wrong. That's yeah, true. It's true. It is. This happens quite quite a bit. All right, the next three stories. Buckle up. Literally, because they're all car shit. Above and beyond this week. We're going to start with the first one. Um, we were talking a while back about how you got, like, bumped up to that Dodge Charger that one time. You were ignorant. Yeah. Which is like, fucking wow. And you were also like, I'm not going to get myself busted. You sped a little bit, but you're like, yeah, I'm I, okay. So imagine they bumped you up to, say, a Lamborghini. How would you have been driving, Kara? I feel like I just would have said no. Right? Because that's that's not some shit you want to risk there. Because it's a Lamborghini. No. How is this like another week we have another Lamborghini story? Another fucking Lamborghini story. What are you doing back there, Charlie? He sees up on the amp. (laughs) Well... Driver in rented Lamborghini, give me the link there, uh, leads cops on a chase in Miami-Dade County. A man behind the wheel of a rented Lamborghini SUV. Did you know there was such a thing? Why? A Lamborghini SUV. Ooh, that reporter shrunk his polo in the wash. Those arms are begging for mercy, bro. Always with the relevant commentary, Terry. I love you that much. Just... Like, look, um, there's wear in a shirt that's a little too tight to show off the muscles. And then there's, I can't feel my arm. And this this good-looking gentleman, because he is, has crossed over into, I can't feel my arm. Why do they, Why is there a Lamborghini SUV? Why is there a Lamborghini SUV? Yes. How? Who wants, you know, I want a sports car, but also I've got a buttload of rugrats. Yeah. Also, the kids have to go to lacrosse. Sky 10 was above the scene around. Escalade like every other asshole. Sky 10 was above the scene around 11 a.m. as the SUV heading north on Florida's Turnpike near Doral. Uh, After hitting three vehicles at three separate locations, 
driver eventually pulled over just south of the Okeechobee Road exit, got out of the vehicle. Authorities ordered to ground gunpoint and took him into custody. According to uh, the police department, their aviation unit was assisting in other county in unrelated matters. They spotted the SUV driving very fast. Rodriguez said the aviation unit delayed the information, uh, relayed the information to a patrol unit, which uh, attempted to pull over the vehicle. But the driver fled from the officer. You're in a rented car. It is a rented luxury car. And you're about to be pulled over. Well, that sucks. Get pulled over. Any other... If, if you your mind comes up with any other option besides get pulled over, it's not a good option. Because that rent just because it's not your car doesn't mean they can't like I don't know if you know this, but the car rental services do in fact keep records. And that that insurance you buy, yeah, it's not going to cover this. It's not going to fucking yeah. cover this. Not one bit. But it's not like. It's a rental. They will never find me. It's a fucking Lamborghini, you idiots. What, you think everybody's got... Can we also talk about how fucking ugly that car was? It is. It is. Itty. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. Like, it looks like a shittier RAV4. Let me get a good shot of that thing. Just rent a RAV4. Well, then it wouldn't be, yeah, the, the, then it wouldn't be a Lamborghini. Wouldn't it incredibly, wouldn't it incredibly oh, do a concept. Oh, that car is fucked. He, he done fuck that car. Oh, yeah. It oh. It's ruined. Oh, he, he, but oh. It also, it was also ugly to begin with. That's true. He did not do it any favors, but there weren't many favors to be done. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hi, bud. What, what, how Can I help you? Can I help? Are you good? I just, I just want attention from the internet. You're welcome. I'm going to make you some money. Here's this is, this is a nice little postscript here. A white McLaren was later spotted at the scene where the police chase ended. Police confirmed the driver of the McLaren is the owner of the rental car company. Is McLaren a type of car? Yeah, it's a it's a one of those high end bullshit cars. All right, are are you comfy? He's such a silly little cat. I love him. Are you good? Do you need anything? You want some snacks? Maybe yeah, a pillow. Be nice. Maybe maybe some tuna. He just has constant stoner face. Just look at this guy. His constant stoner face. But oh, it's just so cute. We should have called you Lebowski. All right. Um. Ooh. All right. Uh, what's next? Next car story. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. That is the old adage. This is probably one of the greatest pictures in the history of ever. That's that's an old claim. The, well, the fact that it all just came together of its own accord pretty much nails it. Let's let's uh let's share it with everybody here here here. I there you go. This. There you go. Here here's the picture. Um, like I said. Yeah. Uh, Colorado newly hired instructor crashes car into Colorado driving school. Minor injuries. One person was injured after a driving instructor crashed into the front of a Colorado driving school with several people inside. Lakewood Police Department said people in the building were able to avoid getting hit by the car. One person suffered a minor injury around 9:30 a.m. They said the driver was cited for a traffic violation. The person injured was not taken to the hospital. Photo shared on Twitter showed the car protruding from the front window of the building of the school. 
below a large sign that reads, Learn to Drive, leaving hundreds of users to comment on the irony. This is like one of those if a thousand monkeys type for a thousand years moment. Is he was smart? Which I, I doubt he was. He was like, well, if it's like a viral marketing thing, you guys. Everybody's going to be talking about us tomorrow. Yeah, but Jimmy, you busted in the front of the building. Turn. Sure. And you almost, you almost killed Carol. What the free advertising, man? Sure, Charlie. I don't, yeah, I... Charlie. 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 Char 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 Can you see this thing? Charlie might be part vampire. Oh, he's so ferocious. Terrible. Look at him. Oh, murder. I. Yes. Narrowly bite the hand that feeds you. Are you having a good time? I like that it looks like he's wearing like a little flower crown or something. Like he's going to Coachella. Charlie. Charlie. Can we can we stop now, please? You made your point. Okay, okay. This is all right. No, no, I didn't. Okay. Let's 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 go someplace else. There you go. Um you go. Do thing. There are two other cats in this house to bother. Don't bother them. I just I'm Yeah, I don't think this guy has a future as a driving instructor. That like there someone in that building is like, who the fuck hired this guy? Who the fuck? Which one of you did it? Like, did you not run? I would love to see his resume. Well, don't you? I would assume if you were going to be a driving instructor, they would make you take like the standard grade test. Yeah, yeah. And want you to like pass it. Well, I mean, well, maybe no. It's just it. You have to appreciate. You said the poetry of the fact that it's it's the weirdness of being on this stupid little planet. That sometimes things just intersect in a way that couldn't be more perfect if you planned them. Shit just happened. I mean, honestly, they should, when they repair the building, get a giant window cling that looks like that. Because <laughs> it kind of is good at your <laughs> Well, if it had not been the person, the, the instructor, sure. Yeah. But, like, uh, it, like, it's a whole, like, ironic moment. Oh, the last one this week. This is the one, literally, holy God, this one. We've had this shit happen accidentally. The cops are saying this one was intentional. And when you see the photos, you're going to be like, fucking how? Uh, let's give you some. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Um, here's some of the photos. Let's have a look there. Seeing that? But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. One injured after car crashes in the second floor of Mifflin County Hall. Now, normally I don't do stories where people get injured, but this time it was the driver, and this was intentional. So fuck them. Uh, Decatur Township, Pennsylvania. One person was taken to the hospital after their car crashed into the second floor of a home in Decatur Township, Sunday, August 6th. According to the spokesperson from Junction Fire Company, who was dispatched to the 800 block of uh, Alpharetta Road, 
Uh, the fire company believes the vehicle hit a small culvert next to the driveway of the home. This caused the vehicle to become airborne at the second story of the house. Rescue crews were able to stabilize the house and help the homeowner put a tarp over the damage that part of their home. Fire company told ABC7 the occupant of the vehicle was taken to uh, Geisinger, Lewistown. Their condition remains unknown. Homeowners were evaluated and not taken to hospital. Um... According to Pennsylvania State Police, troopers have said it was determined through an investigation the crash was an intentional act and charges are pending at this time. The fuck? How fast do you have to be going? Because, like, we've all, like, taken a hill too fast and you accidentally do the thing from the sabotage video, right? Yeah. And you take a little hop. Oh, I've had that fucking fast. I've had that yeah, happen to me in it. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Like Atlanta's not quite as bad as San Francisco, but it's got some moments where the car just goes. But your car goes like six inches off the ground. Right. How fucking fast do you have to be going? Apparently they just I they planned it, maybe? They took the culvert just the right way and you know, sort of. And also, why? Right? Of all the... Like, did whoever lives in that house wrong you in some terrible way? Well, there's certainly better ways to handle it than this. Yeah. That's what it... They, they All the, all they say is that the, the police believe it was intentional. That's all they say. See, and that's why story like this drives me up the fucking wall, because you need to give me more than that. Right? I need some fucking context. I I minored in journalism, okay? And I don't know, I don't know what has happened to the institution of journalism. Chat GPT. But the, I was taught journalism... By a very old-fashioned man who only wore gray suits and from was from Kansas. That was lovely. Was he so bad? Give me fucking context. Obviously, he wasn't Superman who wore glasses. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I why on? Like, what the fuck? You got to explain shit. Who, cool, what, when, where, why? There is a plan here. There was a fucking plan here. When you tell me this was intentional, you have to tell me why. You have to lay out how A leads to B leads to C. You can't just go A to D and be like, there you go. You need to send your little reporter down to the jail. Get him in there and be like, all right, what the fuck, man? Tell me a story. Yeah. Don't, don't just, I, I, this is one of the, if this happened to me, I'd just be like, okay, I, I would check out. I would be like, I'm done. How do you deal with this? There's a hole in your house with a car in it. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I would I would shut the fuck down. I would just be like I think I would especially after like the last year, I think I would just be like okay. I think oh, this is life now. You know what? I want a pizza. I think I think I deserve a pizza. I'm going to order a pizza. Yeah. That's that's about that would be like where I'm going to order a pizza. And then I wait wait for the pizza guy to show up and be like, "Hey dude, do you know about this car?" <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> Give me my fucking extra cheese. Right? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I want to eat this whole pizza right now. Yeah. This is so sweet. Yep. Until next week. We're weird little monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, is the, the first thing we've learned. If you are going to tell us the story of someone who intentionally crashed a car in someone's house... Tell me a fucking story. Details. Lay that out. I have to know because this, this is like, if it wasn't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. 
Uh, so, what else have we learned this week? We have learned that sometimes the confluence of events will crisscross together and you will get one perfect, beautiful moment caught on film. Like, it's like the end of American Beauty with the bag. Right. There is beauty in the world. Just- it's like that is that is prime mid two thousands. I can has cheeseburger meme right there, right there. Yeah, that it, that would be a good meme. That would have been perfect. He did memes that way. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're just you're, you're you're about like you're about fifteen years too late. Sorry. Um. Yeah. We have learned that if you are going to rent the most fucking expensive car, the cops are going to catch you. It's just also rent an expensive car that's not stupid, right? Because, man, you look like a dork in that thing. A Lamborghini SUV. Like, why? I mean, this is, that's, that's kind of that's like. Not even your pe- that's not even your penis is small. That's like it's hooked 90 degrees to the left. That's like that's like a Rolls Royce RV. What the fuck? What is? What are yeah. you doing? Like just, just what went wrong? We have learned that the fastest way to get seen in the emergency room is not to get naked and rip a pipe off the wall. Tempting you, know, it may be. And we have learned the AI might not be rising up to take us out with nuclear weapons, but goddamn, they will get some of the stupid people out there. Gonna tick off the the week of the herd, I guess. It's like like good omens. When Crowley's like, oh, I shut down all the cellular services. Well, that's stupid. But the wave of low-grade evil. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, that's so perfect. That's horrible. It doesn't have to fire all the nukes. All it has to do, because there's a percentage of us like there's a whole thing right now. It's a fucking trend. People are eating borax because they think it's good for them. They think it's detoxing their bodies. This is a real thing. You are making sense right now in a way that I hate. I hate that this makes sense. I was right about the AI. I hate that this makes sense. By the way, this week we've learned if you're going to steal, over a quarter of a million dollars in in merchandise. Maybe don't do it while wearing your own merchandise. Not a great time to advertise. I know you've been told there's no such thing as bad publicity. But there is. Especially when it can lead to prosecution. I, when I was growing up. I mean, maybe that's what your game's about. When I, when I was, you, you'll remember this too. When I was little, I was growing up. There was a show called Unsolved History with Robert fucking Stack. They've revived it on Netflix just without him. Yeah, but back then. He would that that shit would scare the shit out of me because he would tell us all these stories about what seemed criminal fucking masterminds. I grew up thinking, holy shit, there are some evil motherfuckers out there with these big old plans. And they're gonna thought they oh my god, the world is full of like criminals, masterminds. And then no, it's just motherfuckers grabbing a card of magic together. Birds. I'm disappointed. It's one of those things where like. Y'all don't understand how much 80s TV fucked us up. I can't explain to you the degree to which I thought quicksand was going to play a much bigger part in my adult life. Because <laughs> <laughs> every TV show you watch, and I'm talking sitcoms, cartoons, whatever, somebody's selling fucking quicksand at some point. We were prepared for that shit, too. We were like, don't move. You'll right. sink slower. Don't struggle. We really, like, 
to to believe 80s television, you were going to sink and die. Yeah. 80s television fucked us all up. There's a lot less quicksand and a lot more methamphetamine. Yeah. They called that. They they called that one completely wrong. Yeah. Oh, well, Tara, thank you. You keep feeling better. You have yourself a good evening. Yes. And we'll see you, you next too. Good night. Good night, everybody.